Good evening, YouTube. So this morning, I snoozed a bunch, didn't bother trying to go for my walk. It was cold out, my room was warm and sunny, I had exercise later planned, and I didn't get up until I had to. And I'm okay with that part. Before work, I had yoga. I love my 10 a.m. weekday classes because it's typically me and a bunch of old ladies. But yoga in general is great because it gives me meditation, mindfulness practice, but also some pretty phenomenal exercise. Today was my first day back at the shop. I spent much of the afternoon rearranging it and cleaning things up. I'm setting up a repair counter so I can assembly line software repairs. I didn't document anywhere close to as much as I wanted, and I may need to figure out a better system to journal there. Mid-afternoon, I met someone off of Craigslist in the parking lot across the street from my shop, and I sold the drone. I got a Skydio 2 in November, and I liked it, but it's pretty much solely designed for autonomous tracking footage, uh, and I used drones mostly as a flying camera. I listened to my first podcast from yesterday, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. There were a few spots I should have edited better, but the content was great, and I'm pleased that we got a relatable, interesting, cohesive podcast on our first attempt. After closing the shop, I went to the Apple store to exchange my 13 Mini for a 13 Pro. That didn't go well because they only had 512 models in stock and they wouldn't accept a return exchange of the case because it had a dent on the corner that they labeled as drop damage, which apparently does not go under normal wear and tear for a case. Faced with what I have come to expect as the standard for Apple experience, I really wanted to just return it, but I had not planned on leaving them all phoneless, and as Apple knows and counts on, that wasn't really an option. So I have three days left on my return exchange window, and I will probably be going to another Apple store to do it, but this really feels like a strong sign to jump back to Android. I didn't actually do most of what I wanted to do today. I also still haven't looked at my reminders, to-do lists, or responded to a few time-sensitive emails. It feels like there's not a time in the day, but I know time isn't the limited resource here, it's attention. And that's frustrating because if I accomplish all any of the things on this list, it would make my life a lot easier. Mental health is obnoxious. My old plan was to do all of this shit before 11 a.m. and I guess it's worth revisiting that, but I don't think I can while I'm working in 11 to six. Thanks for listening. I am going to figure all of this out. To be honest, I have dragged my feet at every step of making this video. It's 11 p.m. again, and I still need to edit and post this. I haven't even made it to vlog four, and I'm already considering giving up. I recognize that the times I feel that way are the ones it's most important to do it anyways. So here we are. Thanks for listening. I will figure all of this out.